It has been a promising season in a rather unusual way for both Liverpool and Arsenal to this point, no doubt buoyed by the unexpected drop-off by defending champions Manchester City. Jurgen Klopp's Reds have not exploded with the huge goal lines of the Germans' previous teams, but, as evidenced by the midweek thrashing of West Ham, can turn it on to become unplayable at the drop of a hat. Michael Arteta's Arsenal also appears surprisingly tight following the rambunctious chaos of last year's title challenge, instead regularly nicking late wins in tight games, something which many see as the mark of champions. Neither Ryan Gravenberg nor Alexis McAllister were fit enough to be part of Liverpool's squad on Wednesday night due to injuries and they remain major doubts to face Arsenal. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mohamed Salah and Luis Diaz will all return to the squad, but Darwin Nunes faces a fight to keep his place up against Cody Jagbo, who scored versus West Ham. This trip will come too soon for Thomas Partey, Takahiro Tomoyasu and Mohamed Nini, but Jorginho may return to the Arsenal squad. Arteta could be on exchange or tinker with his team by introducing Leonardo Trussard for some added pace and flair over Kai Havertz's physicality and clinical finishing in midfield. Liverpool have been near perfect at home this season, but did show signs of vulnerability against Manchester United last weekend, when they were stifled by a workman-like low block. Arsenal boasted the league's joint best defence on the road along with United and may not fly out the traps like Liverpool might want them to. The Gunners are seriously better than United on the break too. The Gunners have not won a game in 90 minutes at Anfield since Lucas Bulduski and Santi Cazorla provided the goals in a September 2012 visit. In the last seven overall meetings, they have also only won once.